Okay, we for high TV can I pass on like no comment, no share. I'm only as well today. Any be ashamed na. Yes, I'm not. Yeah, set up. Yeah, former finance minister. I'm a yeah. Member man in Mahama NDC government. No, I only do so by him. Yes. No, 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 no. We must all continue to listen. I'm sorry. I am playing quite a lot of talk about park and so. But we die. We need to queen. We need to enjoy. We need to not be serving. So. Morning show, I'm telling super morning show tonight. Yeah, yeah, on a boss and tepper for my finance minister, and they send me to ya. Now, say, you say, and then I'm from Momo, I say, and people are Momo, no doctor, Momo, or Yane, and another damn cocoa fado. A corner me now, or more a hand or no, ten a corner, and a master tea, and a year. Yeah, we are a kind of social media, and also already to TV, so be a cap. We are not Mupizano and Wassem, say Gana for Cassie, nay, a by Munipa, Munina, Bia Cassie, Gana economy, as I saw yet a improvy as a economy. Now, a general say, and no crime, I say, and no crime, and no idea, the day to just say, or going to me deny that upon the Bia and no crime. A mafia court, you will go to you. And talking about using numbers and showing that they're performing well, so we're told. There's a, there's a lot of improvement. We've turned the corner. I mean, so we're doing well. When you look at the Ghanaian economy today, do you see improvement in it? I see improvement, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't I deny. And talking about... Around for someone to the SM Kuti. Using numbers and showing that they're performing well. So we're told there's a, there's a lot of improvement. We've turned the corner. I mean, so we're doing well. When you look at the Ghanaian economy today, do you see improvement in it? I see improvement, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would, I wouldn't deny. I see he sees a, an improvement. He will never deny. When you are back, or crack, with dominion is the phone to any view. Yes, that's the point. Oh, my fault. And now the two one no, or the sea, or yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they or three to remove. It's here or cash out a day some other fights. We had a two to your man for Yanko, Yanko, Yanko. Let's get back to it, Honorable Tech. You've been talking about, you know, uh, using uh, the primary balance, which sometimes, you know, because of the situation we find ourselves. But even if you were to look at um, 2024, for instance, fiscal balance, we have a deficit, projected deficit, of 4.8% of GDP. That's not bad, is it? Well, it's not bad. I yeah. mean, definitely. And that's if we are able to, to, to achieve it. Mm. And that's a fiscal balance, and uh, it's not bad. But even I have some reservations because what are those reservations? Well, you know, to calculate a fiscal balance, uh, another item is arrears, hmm. and uh, there's a publication. Um, I don't know if it's still on the Ministry of Finance website, which was started in 2010. We called it back then the contract database. There's some different name. We didn't have control of our contracts. Minister of Finance, the mm. value of contracts awarded in the system. So we embarked on, you know, making sure that all the ministries gave us a profile of the contracts they had. It shows the value of the contract, the contract sum, the revised contract sum, if there's a variation, it showed of the contract, what is in progress and what is not in progress, not started of the contract, work in progress, what is certified as done and what is uncertified. You know, has done what is paid out of the certified and what is unpaid, right? Twenty by twenty thirteen, it had been sorry by twenty sixteen, it had been fairly, you know, enhanced to the point where we're going to use part of the outstanding to inform and the contract itself to inform the million ten, right? What it meant is that. If you have a road contract which is going to last the next two, three years, maybe we should put a moratorium on new award of new roads so you can finish, you know, what you have from your budgetary allocation for the million term. Now, back to your question. Mm. Today, from 13 billion back then, approximately, the contract values in the system is 77 billion, out of which I believe. 53 billion or so, you know, um, is work in progress and payments and others have been done. 
I still think that the provision we are making for arrears is not adequate. Mm -hmm. And that is where your question comes in. Um, I would like to see more of those arrears reflected. In fact, a chunk of it, about 37 billion or so, 32, if I'm not mistaken, has been, you know, bundled and added to debt, that the IPP debt and the rest. So that contrast sum has reduced. Yes, still, even if you took 37 out of 77, it's still huge. So it's a provision uh, uh, for arrears, you know, of what, 2 billion, 3 billion adequate. And that is because, remember the measure I told you, we are still using, instead of using that contract database, we are still using the arrears uh, unpaid bills for the last three or four mm. years. So, 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 so here you see the arrears so, of so, mm -hmm. yes, you see uh, the arrears of <clears throat> payables. Yes. I mean the payables. So the arrears is eleven point six billion. If you were to add this to the fifty billion, the deficit becomes sixty one billion. So that would take it above five percent. Yes, but I'm saying that exactly. Mm. So if if you if you were to to as as middle income countries do, they try to put these, you know, crude calculations. You know, now we have a database, so it means that um, no one say immediately. When you do two things, you you slow down the award of contracts. So you remember pipeline. You know, uh, former president said <coughs> we are going to stick to the pipeline. Slow it down. Clean what is in the system. And then begin to exercise more control through the gifts. That is your transition to true middle income country. Right. I wouldn't have a problem with the four percent if I'm assured, and that's what we're going to monitor. If I'm assured that the provision for arrears is adequate, mm -hmm. because remember we have a history where part of those arrears were shown as footnotes or memorandum, and we've been told we're doing well. Not too long ago. So in that case, I mean, you've talked about the primary balance. You've talked about the fiscal balance. Now you say if you have the assurance, then you wouldn't have a problem. Does that then tell you that we are on the right path based on these figures? No, the fiscal framework we have now, right? If you take the Public Financial Management Act and the uh, Fiscal Responsibility Act together, it gives a framework we should put Ghana on the right path. If you manage debt and you don't stop paying your debt, you see, Koyo, mm. the, the issue is this. Where do we want to be with our debt? Let's say that, you know, because we don't want to starve ourselves too much, we want to be between 60, 65%. That would enable us, you know, be tolerated in the, uh, <clears throat> in the capital markets. Mm. It takes two steps. First, you have to bring your 190%, even if you say 80 to 65, right? And then aim to maintain 65. And if possible, be reducing it to 55. How do you do that? You cannot do that by just borrowing and not paying. When we talk about bilateral loan, we pay principal and interest. When we talk about multilateral loan, World Bank, IMF, we pay principal and interest. So normally we don't default on those. Where do we normally have the problem? One, treasury bills. It's for three months, right? Treasury bills is for three months. At the end of three months, when you borrow, at the end of the three months, meanwhile, every week you are issuing treasury bills. But let's say that at the end of three months, instead of paying down, you borrow to refinance. Hmm. Or if I like it. I'm holding treasury bills. I tell my bank, oh, roll over. In that case, government doesn't have a headache mm. to pay. So we don't pay. You issue because you need the money, particularly now when it's only treasury bills. So you issue another treasury bill. You are issuing two types. You get your finance people to analyze it for you. You are issuing one to pay back debt, which because you can't pay from revenue, mm -hmm. and you are adding on top. That's a rollover. And that's why we talk about rollover risk. It means that you are rolling over and adding, rolling and adding. We've taken that habit to bonds, three-year bonds, five-year bonds, domestic, right? We are not making repayment. You will never maintain your 65% where you want to live comfortably, which means that 
you must also manage the market and you must have a mechanism for repayment which i believe you know i read about doing a global financial crisis this time is different because every government is oh this time is different i can mm. do things it's no different All right so for a country that was you know took its debt to hippic and for a country that has now defaulted right 2014 for me was very informative. Okay, I think that this is an honest word. So this is one of the things to So I say. Despite political differences, you know, I who say, yes, Ghana is on the right path and all that. And my analysis is here and there. But today, some other, he'll be in your marketing, it be our church. Yes, we understand all those things. So now, I want for, uh, yes, I take it. I don't know. I know this amount. They talk to you about Ghana's economy. Well, a former finance minister. So, I can't say, I say, yeah, a big deal, but I'm not going to I want for, Okay, for